Good morning! It is so nice to see you all today. We have our puppets, we have our breakfast, and we have us and you. And I'm so glad you're here. How are you today? How are you today? You have an asleep foot. That's kind of uncomfortable. And then in a sleep, Foxy. Mm, and Foxy was asleep. Yes. And wonder, how are you today? Okay. Yeah. Well, as I'm usual. I'm nervous. Nervous. Thanks for sharing. As usual, I came downstairs this morning to find my puppets. And they were in a really interesting position. So Foxy was laying down like this, and Slothy was kind of covering her like this. So it made me I, feel... It kind of looks like they're trying to watch a movie. It does, like they're relaxing together? Yeah. So it made me feel a little bit curious as to what was going on. So I went over to them and I asked them a question. I said, Slothy, Foxy, what's going on today? You know what Foxy told me? Foxy, do you want to share what happened? Oh, yes, I do want to share what happened. So, late last night when we were going to bed, I was getting comfortable and trying to fall asleep. And then you know what happened? Yeah. Miss Bunny kicked me. We were trying to get comfy, and I didn't mean to hurt her or get in her space. And all of a sudden, I felt a jab in my back, and she kicked me. Oh, Foxy, I'm so sorry. How did you feel about that? Well, I felt really scared, because I didn't know what happened at first. I felt really sad, because Miss Bonnie and I are good friends. I almost felt like crying, and then it was really hard to get to sleep. Hmm. At least you have this. Yeah. Foxy, thank you so much for sharing. But then did you have a dud dream after? Oh, that's a good question. Well, after I fell asleep, I slept fine, but it kind of still was with me this morning. It was still impacting me, you know? So, then have? I got a friend. You did? What happened? Oh, I think someone else wants to tell us what happened. Uh, yeah. So, last night when Miss Bunny kicked Foxy, I felt mm, concerned because Foxy was crying. Well, I noticed her crying. Miss Bunny was yelling and mm, it was really hard for all us puppets to get to sleep. Mm, I mostly felt Bad for Foxy, and do you know what I did? I asked her what she needed. Oh, that was a really, really good thing to do. And Foxy, what did you say after that? Well, I said I was going to have a hard time falling asleep. So I asked if Foxy would hold me till I fell asleep. And you know what? He did. That's right. So then did you fall asleep on top? <laughs> That's exactly what happened, <laughs> Wonder. I was holding Foxy so she could feel safe. Because actually I heard all of the yelling. Did you? Did you hear what was going on? Yeah. And I was in the tallest bed in the tallest. So when I heard about what was happening this morning, I thought about something that we often do at our school. We do something called an empathy, empathy circle. circle. Exactly. It's the board of the day. It's the board of the day. No, exactly. So, an empathy circle. So, empathy means when you can really understand how someone is feeling and you can also recognize what they may need in order to feel better. That is what 
Slothy and Foxy were working out last night between the two of them. When Foxy was feeling really surprised and angry and uncomfortable and nervous that Miss Bunny had kicked her, Slothy came along. And what did you say, Slothy? I asked what I could do to help. That's right. And the fact that Foxy knew that someone was recognizing her feelings and trying to support her helped her feel a lot better. Helped her feel seen and heard. That's right. I felt like I wasn't so alone. Thanks, Slothy. Oh, you're welcome, Foxy. That's right. <sighs> and so, to our breakfast today, I wanted to bring an empathy circle. So it's when you come around somebody who might be having some big feelings and you think about a time where you also felt that way and you share it with them. And that helps to connect with them and it helps to support them and helps to kind of move through to a solution. So wonder, are you willing to do an empathy circle with Slothy and Foxy? Yeah? Is there a time, Wonder, where you felt similar to Foxy? Would you like to share that with us, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so when I, so when I was in the H star, I'm not in like the H star where Ellie and Lida was. Mm -hmm. um, a little long time ago. A long I didn't move. <laughs> yes. So you were um, all. You are all playing store, and you are making things all together with Ryder and, and then, Evie. And then, um, and then, and then my, and they just, and then, and I, and then I felt like, like, like I was just staying closed in, and I didn't know what was happening. You felt like you were getting closed in, because there were then, three of you in kind of a, a tiny space. And then, That's how I felt last night, trying to fall asleep. And then, and then mommy came in mm -hmm. and said, and said, let move. And then, and then every, and everybody just just said, how about you move out? Hey, and that didn't work. So then, so Evie let me move, move in her closet, and that was really special. Oh, so when you were trying to figure out how to get comfortable with everybody and you were feeling so trapped in, then you found a way to work it out by you moving somewhere else? I, I have a question. What? Why did it feel special to move into Evie's closet? Because, because, um... Because then afterwards, um, I, I was like, because the helmet was still up, like, like that was time for my seat and I felt really comfortable. Ooh. I mean, oh. it was first, so I feel like I, I was still connected with both of them. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. That was an amazing solution. And you still felt connected. That's wonderful. But for right. now, I feel I'm not connected in my closet anyway. You know what I'm thinking about? Because now, why did Tim look down at me and, and tell me what letters Tim spell things? Yeah. <laughs> instead totally. of he has to look, instead of he has to, he has to, he has to, Bunch of with Evie. He just has to. Yeah. Wanda, can I say something? I'm having a good connection right now. <laughs> so, Wanda sharing with me how she felt and, and how they handled it with Ryder and Evie and Wanda makes and me. And Mommy. And Mommy, right. Makes me think about how maybe Miss Bonnie and I could find a way to sleep together in a way that we're both comfortable and connected and that way no one will be upset with each other. Is that right? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. 
Maybe we could do that before bedtime tonight. Oh, that would be wonderful. Mummy, would you help us do it? No. 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 Fluffy tan. No. Oh, sure. I'd love to help you do it. Okay, thanks, Lothy. You're welcome. And then you can lay this out. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you for that empathy circle, Wonder. Thank you for sharing. I'm the last one. Slothy, thank you so much for helping empathize with Foxy last night and for being there to, for her to support her and love her. And I really like this plan for tonight. I wonder if there's a time where you ever empathize with anyone. Or I wonder if there's anything you need help with that we could form an empathy, empathy circle around. Maybe you could ask your adults or siblings to empathize with you today. Let us know how it goes. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you again really soon. <laughs> Bye.